China's first Mars exploration mission, Tianwen-1, successfully landed on Mars. What difficulties did the probe encounter during its flight? Why does China carry out Mars exploration activities? Will China be the first country to immigrate to Mars? On June 11, 2021, the China National Space Administration held the unveiling ceremony of the first batch of scientific images of the Tianwen-1 probe landing on Mars, and released the panoramic images of the landing site and the topography of Mars taken by the Zhurong rover. Among them, the video of the movement of the Zhurong rover on the surface of Mars is the first time that humans have obtained images of it, marking the complete success of China's first Mars exploration mission. I spent a few days recently sorting out the information of the Tianwen-1 Mars rover, and in this video, I am going to share with you the story about how China has broken through the technology blockade of more than 40 years, and made a success in the Mars exploration field. Welcome to Tech Teller. Before we start today's video, please subscribe to our channel, which is the encouragement that we can create more videos. Ok, let's continue the topic we are talking about. At first, let's make it clear, Tianwen-1 does not refer to the probe that landed on Mars, but the mission name of the Chinese Planetary Exploration Mission. In the first three months before the launch of China's Mars probe, that is, on April 24, 2020, China officially announced that China's Mars exploration mission was named Tianwen Series, so the first Mars exploration mission was named Tianwen-1. At the same time, the names of subsequent planetary exploration missions will also be numbered in sequence. The Tianwen-1 Mars rover includes an orbiter and a rover. As China's first rover to land on Mars, it is named after an ancient Chinese mythological figure, Zhu Rong. The Tianwen-1 Mars rover shoulders a very important task. It needs to realize the three tasks of circling, landing, and patrolling at one time. I will introduce the difficulty later. At the same time, the Tianwen-1 Mars rover has to complete five scientific goals and further realize China's exploration of Mars. So, why are we conducting Mars exploration activities? In the solar system we know well, there are eight planets, and Mars is the planet closest to the Earth besides Venus. Why not explore Venus first, and go to Mars instead? Because, judging from the information currently available to human beings, the environment of Venus is too harsh for human beings to survive at all. Mars, on the other hand, is one of the most Earth-like bodies in the solar system. First of all, Mars also has the same four seasons as Earth. In addition, Mars' rotation period is 24 hours and 37 minutes, which is almost the same as Earth's 24 hours a day. The most important point is that Mars is rich in resources and has a large amount of freshwater resources. Even the Martian soil contains 2% to 3% moisture, which means that there must be organic molecules on Mars, so exploring the existence of life on Mars is also an important topic for Mars exploration missions. In addition, Mars is also the most suitable choice for human beings to develop outer space bases in the future. Because the gravitational force of Mars is small, only three-eighths of the gravitational force of the Earth, and it is closer to the asteroid belt and the outer space of the solar system, the total cost of launching rockets or deep space exploration missions on Mars will be much less than that on Earth. So, what challenges are humans currently facing in exploring Mars? Difficulty 1. The opportunity is rare. To launch a Mars rover, we need to wait until the critical moment when Mars opposes the Sun. What is Mars' opposition? Simply put, when the distance between the Earth and Mars is the closest, and the cost of launching a Mars probe is minimal at this time. However, the opposition of Mars does not happen every day. It occurs every 780 days or about 26 months. The opportunity is very rare. Once missed, we have to wait for more than two years. Difficulty 2, superpower is required for the rockets. If a Mars probe wants to reach Mars, it must not only get rid of the Earth's gravity but also get rid of the stronger gravity of the Sun to fly to Mars farther away, which means that superpower rockets are needed as support. Difficulty 3, the track design is complicated. At present, the Mars probe launched by humans can only choose the orbital operation mode of Hohmann transfer, but this method of changing the orbit of the spacecraft takes 6 to 11 months. Moreover, the orbital line will also be interfered by complex situations such as solar wind, space radiation, and interference from other celestial bodies. One careless move and all these work will be wasted. 
Difficulty 4, the detector must have super performance. For a probe going deep into space, it must achieve smooth communication, withstand long-term space operations, self-failure detection and repair, etc., so the probe must have strong performance and independent capabilities. After all, no one will offer help when entering space. It has to solve the problem by itself. Difficulty 5, the Mars rover has to overcome the complex conditions on Mars. In the process of landing on Mars, the Mars rover has to pass through the Martian atmosphere, resulting in a temperature of up to 2,000 degrees Celsius, which is two times higher than the 1,000 degrees Celsius reached through the Earth's atmosphere. Moreover, sandstorms often occur on Mars, and the yellow sand in the sky will cause the loss of contact with the Mars rover. The loss of the American Opportunity Mars rover is a lesson we should learn. Difficulty 6, Blind Landing because the process of landing a Mars rover only takes 7 to 9 minutes. It is impossible to complete a communication between Earth and Mars in such a short time, which means that the entire landing process requiring more than a thousand actions needs to be completed by the probe autonomously, which is a big test for the software and hardware of the Mars probe. Throughout the decades that humans have used Mars probes to explore Mars, the success rate of Mars exploration has not even reached half especially the earliest detections, which are even more appalling. In fact, as early as the 1960s, the United States and the Soviet Union, which launched the space race, set their sights on the unknown Mars and started to explore Mars. According to statistics, during the period from 1960 to 1988, the Soviet Union conducted a total of 20 exploration missions, and all these efforts ended in failure. The United States, as a country that has always occupied a leading position in the aerospace industry, began the Mariner series, Mars exploration mission in 1964, which ended in failure for the first time. It was not until 1971 that the Mariner 9 achieved Mars orbiting, and in 1975, the Rogue One realized the orbit and landing of Mars. After that, no country other than the United States has landed a Mars rover. The United States has firmly blocked the core technology of the Mars rover and has a complete monopoly on the exploration of Mars. It was not until May 15, 2021, when China's Tianwen-1 Mars probe successfully landed on Mars, that it completely broke the US monopoly on Mars exploration, and Mars welcomed new guests. In general, Tianwen-1 will lay a solid foundation for China's space exploration, and at the same time, it will also bring rich supplements to Mars research to the world. Through insight into this planet similar to the Earth, human beings may discover the past and future of the Earth, perhaps discover the existence of new life, and decode the deeper mysteries of the universe. Okay, that's all for today. Please put your comments below, and share your insightful ideas with other people. We will see you in the next video.